world in its present form is passing away. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Listen to me, daughter. See and bend your ear. Listen to me, daughter. See and bend your ear. Hear, O daughter, and see. Turn your ear. Forget your people and your father's house. So shall the king desire your beauty. For he is your Lord, and you must worship him. Listen to me, daughter. See and bend your ear. All glorious is the king's daughter. As she enters, her raiment is threaded with spun gold. In embroidered apparel, she is born into the king. Behind her, virgins of her train are brought to you. Listen to me, daughter. See and bend your ear. We are born in with gladness and joy. We enter the palace of the king, the place of your fathers, your sons shall have. You shall make them princes through all the land. Listen to me, daughter. See and bend your ear. Please all stand. Gospel according to the glory to you, O Lord. Jesus raised his eyes to his disciples and said, Blessed are the poor, the reign of God is yours. Blessed are you who hunger, you shall be filled. Blessed are you who are weeping you shall laugh. Blessed shall you be when men hate you, when they ostracize you and insult you and, pros and pros pros proscribe your name as evil because of the Son of Man. On the day did you so rejoice and exult for your reward shall be great in heaven. Thus it was that their fathers treated the prophets. But woe to you who are rich, for your consolation is now. Woe to you who are full, you shall go hungry. Woe to you who laugh now, and you shall weep in your grief. Woe to you, we all speak well of you. The fathers treated the false prophets to just this way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, good evening. So in the first reading, St. Paul, gives his opinion in regard to virgins and those living a married life. The point that he would like to make is that it's not about superiority of what state of life a person is living. Although there were those in the Christian community in Corinth who said, that uh, it's better not to get married anymore because Paul was also telling them that the second coming was imminent. 
So that was the context. So Paul was telling the people that they have to prepare and uh, the second coming would be too soon. That was their belief before. And St. Paul was also believing in that. And so there were those people who said that better not to get married. So, but the intention of Paul in writing this letter to the Corinthians, whether they would be married or uh, single or unmarried, his point was that they should be single-minded in the service of the Lord. His piece of advice is for us not to become involved in anything that will distract us from the ultimate purpose of life, and that is to be one with the Lord. He said this, I tell you, the time is running out. The world is uh, passing away. So this is what he believed, that uh, mahapit na matapos ang kalibutan kay mubalik na si Kristo. Although this idea was not correct, and we still do not know when Christ would come again, the message is still valid to us today. Paul thought the time was short before the second coming, and that was his motive for talking it seriously by saying that those who are unmarried would remain as virgins, and those who are married would act as if they are not married. Actually, the time is really short for us. So, even the second coming would still be very far from us because we really do not know, as Jesus said, only the Father knows it, but still the message of St. Paul would be valid to us because life is really short. Mubo radyod ang atong pagpuyo sa kalibutan. Ako karon. Sa isintay isyete na Dool-dool na no? so, Kataghanan ba ya no? Paglampas si tinta no? Di ba? Kataghanan Gamay raman ang mulampas O sinta Mas mo gamay-gamay pag yun ang mulampas O nubinta Mas labaw pang gamay Ang mulampas o 100 uh, the other day, there was a post in the Facebook, I don't know whether that is uh, true, that it's been discussed among the lawmakers that those who would reach 101 would be given 1 million. I don't know if you received that in your Facebooks. No? And then, uh, those who would reach 80 would really receive 25,000. But uh, at present, I think, is that those who reach uh, the age of 100 would be given 100,000. Uh, so still, life is short, even if we reach 100. Because when we are already in that age also, we could, live, uh, we could hardly go around. No? Dana lang po ta pirmi magtukong. So, life is really short. And so, St. Paul was telling them that what is important, married or unmarried, that they should be single-minded. So, he was not emphasizing single blessedness as better than those who are married. Rather, his point was that they should be single-hearted in the service of the Lord. So my dear brothers and sisters, as um, we pray together in this Mass, let us, the, let us have this faith in the Lord that would make us strong, make this faith strong, married or unmarried, knowing, without knowing when the Lord would really come, 
but we have to strengthen in our faith and live with it. And uh, that is our theme today. Our faith should be uh, something that we live with it, we profess and live with it, and let us share this with others. So, single-mindedness in our lives as Christians, married or unmarried, we just have to be single-minded in our faith, and we share this faith to others. Please all stand. Let us pray to our merciful Father in heaven that He may give us the grace of acceptance to all and all our petitions offered through our prayers. After its petition, let us all together say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> let us pray that our church leaders will continue to inspire the believers in Christ by serving themselves as an example of how to live and have a strong and healthy spiritual life. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray that our chosen leaders in the country, the Philippines, will prioritize the implementation of plans, programs, and activities that will address our utmost needs. Is the scarcity of food, provision of comfortable shelter, elimination of poverty, and immediate help to those who suffer from calamity and unemployment. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all our brothers and sisters who are suffering any form of sickness and of health issues, that the presence of God in their lives gives them comfort and soothes the pain they bear. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray that parents and guardians will always seek the grace love and blessing of the Lord so that peace, love, and communion abound in the family. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those who are grateful for the blessings, graciousness, and kindness received from the Lord may continue to be dependent on Him and that He continues to provide for their needs. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the souls of our departed ones, especially those we offer today in prayer. May rest in the peace of our Heavenly Father. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our personal requests and needs, let us pray in silence. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, we have just presented to you our petitions. Pray that you hear and respond to them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Please all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. <laughs> Therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like that you fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of men. The mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. In memory of his death and resurrection. Therefore, O oh Lord, we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you this bread of life and this chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Romul our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have placed you throughout the ages, with San Lorenzo Ruiz, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. For the Savior's command and form by divine teachings, now we pray to the Father. Our, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grace will be grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not to our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And let us offer to one another the sign of peace. takes away the sins of the world. Bless are the soul to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Eucharist of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least into my heart spiritually. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. to the food of your word and heavenly sacrament. May he so benefit from your beloved son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please remain standing for the prayer for the Synod on Synodality. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name with you alone to guide us make yourself at home in our hearts teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it we are weak and sinful do not let us promote disorder do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path nor partiality influence our actions let us find in you our unity so that we may journey together to eternal life and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. Always we ask of you who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. Amen. Please all be seated for some announcements. We shall now have a special collection for the ongoing construction of our sacristy at the back of this chapel. 
Aside from this, we are requesting some generous donors to join us in completing the construction by sharing part of the blessing God has given us. Cash or material donations are accepted. Please get in touch with Sister Gina Arjuela or Brother Tal Lumanas. Besides this, we have distributed envelopes to the respective GKK clusters and we request they be remitted to the TPBs. Thank you very much for the continuing support. Our parish is helping couple living together for years in an activity dubbed as Libring Kasalan sa Parokya. Again, this will be on December 24, 2022. For more information, please get in touch with our parish office. We are inviting those in grade 3 or 9 years old and above who wish to receive their First Communion. You are invited to join the pre-First Communion Catechesis here in the chapel on September 24 to begin at 12 noon. Have yourself listed with PSL Fine Balansang. The next Mass here will be tomorrow, September 8 at 7 in the evening to celebrate the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary which is also our 8th day novena. The sponsors are the Pundok Banay of Mary, Mother of the Apostles, St. Andrew, and Santiago. As we thank today's sponsors, the Pundok Banay of St. James the Less, St. Simon, and Lord of the Apostles. Ministers are Mass Preparation, Servers, and Novena. Leaders, Brothers Jose, Boneda, and Ernesto Porol. Extraordinary Ministers of Communion, Brothers Juvitos Bermudez Jr. and Catalino Lumanas, Commentator Lourdes Sampayan, Lecturer and Samis Anjara Cortez. And since tomorrow is the birthday of Mama Mary, we will be offering flowers at the beginning of the Mass. Please bring flowers in vase or in a water cellophane to avoid spillage and mess. Thank you very much. Please all stand for the blessing and dismissal. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Let us all go in peace and always be firm in our faith. Thanks be to God.